learn to look on art as a relevant um, asset class like they would look at land or stocks and shares and start investing in art. It doesn't matter if it's even just for investment. Never buy art only from an investment perspective because um, nine times out of ten it's going to fail. There is a very big difference between collecting art as an investment and collecting art solely for the purpose of collecting something that you love. There's always been this kind of intrigue of um, the quest, you know, there's always a quest to find the other, you know, the beyond, which happens more often in art than uh, anything else for me. Art, I always had a love for. Even as a child, I used to grow, draw, doodle, you know, every opportunity I got. I started reading and I read and I read and I read, and then I started visiting a lot of shows and everything. And then I think the collecting bug really uh, bit me. At 17, I did not know who Hussein was. I did not know what Indian contemporary art was. I simply knew that I liked it. The bug of collecting started with uh, my guru, Mr. Ramachandran, who uh, got me to looking at miniatures, old works of art uh, as tools. So then I was just buying art for the home and then it, when I had enough works that I had no further wall space, it was going into offices and other residences. And at some point, I has still had works that were going to uh, storage. And that's when the thought of doing something more meaningful happened. Collecting is, I call it addiction, you know, it's, it's, it's an addiction. So once you start buying, you really, really start buying. You can't hold yourself back. It's always the first one, no matter what it is, that's going to be hard. And it just gets easier from there on. The drug of collecting will take care of itself. I think you form a very intimate uh, bond with your collection because it's something that you've uh, nurtured over the years. I think art is a medium. Art also, for me, uh, is a good way to combine and be able to look to the past and the future together. Something that I might respond to might not be something that the collector responds to. So it has to be something that catches my brain, something that I respond to emotionally every time I see it. One work which has stayed with me for so many years has been Mr. Ramachandran's Hana and the Goats. It haunts me still. Absolute favorite painting of Sousa, it's a huge nude. I picked up from uh, Neville's auction. I was the sole bidder because nobody wanted to buy nudes at that time we have a Bala and what Bala has done is he's taken the human body, his own body and he's removed all the insides and he sort of squeezed it out, squeezed it out and then he's um, set the body in the wall and it looks like it's projecting out of the wall. The arts of Asterix and Tintin gave me a sense of freedom to look at what art was, you know, if it made you emotionally elevated, feel good, well, that was art for you. Uh, I believe uh, food uh, or cuisine, music and art are three very personal things in life. There's no right and there's no wrong. What you like is what is right. It's unfortunate that people nowadays try to put down history, saying that these artists uh, were existing at one time and now the only thing existing is contemporary art. But I would always recommend going with the younger artists with more uh, people people's works were more accessible and where you can get more powerful works at you know reasonable prices I would say. You know buy young artists but buy multiple works of theirs over the years you amass a collection of works of an artist and you're almost part of the journey you can see how their works develop over time. Get advice get professional advice from people in the business of dealing in art. Start even buying at the small amounts, but start building an aesthetic sense.
don't think of art as an investment. Buy something because you love it and you want to live with it. Buy only what you love. You have to buy what you like. Above all, love the work that you want to buy. The art must have a connection with you. It contains a part of the artist and it's for generations to come. Me personally, I looked at every piece and considered, can this be a gift for my kids?